Hello students, today we are going to solve example on double integral when the limits of the double integral are not given. So let us consider the example. Example is evaluate double integration over the region R x square y dx dy where R is the region bounded by the curves x axis line y equal to x and line y equal to 2 minus x. Let us see the solution. First of all, we will call the given integral as i. So i is equal to given integral. This r is the region bounded by the given curves. Now, uh, let us see the figure. We will uh, try to obtain the region of integration. So consider this figure. This one is the y-axis. This one is the x-axis whose equation is y equal to 0. Now next, the line y equal to x is the line passing through the origin. Then next line y equal to 2 minus x. So this one is the line y equal to 2 minus x. Now we have been given that the region is the bounded by this curve. So the region is the bounded region. So in this we got only two bounded regions. These are simply regions. They are not bounded. These two regions they are bounded. So out of these two we have to choose the correct one. So if we consider this first region. Now see it is bounded by the line y equal to x by the line y equal to 2 minus x and this is the line which is y axis but the given region is bounded by x axis. So this one is not the required region. Hence we will go to this second region. Now this region is bounded by the line y equal to x by the line y equal to 2 minus x and by x axis. So this is the required region. Now we obtain the points of intersections. So this one is origin 0 0. This one is the point 1 1 which is obtained by solving the equation of these two lines simultaneously and this one is the point 2 comma 0. Now here uh, which strip we are considering depending upon that we will be getting the limits. Now for suppose uh, we will first consider a line passing through this point 1 1 which is parallel to the y axis. So that line its equation is what x is equal to 1. Suppose if we consider a vertical strip then if we move that vertical strip along the x axis then what happen when that vertical strip crosses this dotted line then the upper end of that vertical strip moves from the line y equal to x to the line y equal to 2 minus x and hence upper limit will get changed and for that we have to consider these two different sub regions over which we need to evaluate the double integral. So if we consider a vertical strip then for these two different sub regions we need to solve the two different double integrals and hence here we will consider the horizontal strip. So in the region R now we will consider the horizontal strip. So if we consider the horizontal strip we can clearly observe that throughout this region the left hand end of the horizontal strip lies on the line y equal to x and the right hand end of the strip lies on the line y equal to 2 minus x and therefore here we need to solve only one double integral. So how to obtain the limits then the left hand end lies uh, as we considered the horizontal strip means which is parallel to x axis means we have to integrate first with respect to x and then with respect to y. So as we want to integrate first with respect to x we have to obtain the limits for x in terms of y and limits for y as constants. So how that will be obtained? So consider this horizontal strip. Now its left hand end lies on the line y equal to x. So x is equal to y is the lower limit and right hand end of this strip lies on the line y equal to 2 minus x. So therefore x equal to 2 minus y is the upper limit. So see uh, this x varies from y to 2 minus y. Now to obtain the limits for y we have to move this strip vertically along y axis from the line y equal to 0 to the line passing through this point because 
we want to move this horizontal strip up to this point so the line passing through this point parallel to x axis is what is the line y equal to 1 and therefore we will move this horizontal strip from the line y equal to 0 to y equal to 1 and therefore the limits for y are lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 1 so y varies from 0 to 1 so in this way we can obtain the limits for the given integration now we will go for obtaining the value of the integration hence integral i is integration from y equal to 0 to 1 integration from x equal to y to 2 minus y x square y dx dy c as we have considered the horizontal strip so we are going to integrate first with respect to x and therefore for the innermost integral we have considered the limits as x equal to y to 2 minus y and for the outermost integral we have considered the limits as y equal to 0 to 1 the constant limits now we are going to integrate first with respect to x hence this y will be treated as constant and we will take it outside of this first integral sign like this now integrate this x square with respect to x whose integration is what x cube upon 3 limits are from y to 2 minus y now evaluate the value of this term at upper limit and lower limit so replace x by 2 minus y that will give us 2 minus y cube minus replace x by y that will give us y cube and we have taken this 1 by 3 outside now we want to simplify this integral further in this integral first we obtain the cube of 2 minus y so that will give us y into 8 minus 12 y plus 6 y square minus y cube minus y cube further simplification for it we will multiply by this y inside the bracket so that will give us 1 by 3 into integration from y equal to 0 to 1 8y minus 12y square plus 6y cube minus 2y raised to 4 dy. Now we have simplified this term. Now go uh, we will go for the integration. So obtain its integration. So which is 1 by 3 into 8 integration of y is y square by 2 minus 12y cube upon 3 plus 6y raised to 4 upon 4 minus 2 into y raised to 5 upon 5 and limits are from 0 to 1. Now simplify these coefficients that will give us 1 by 3 into 4y square minus 4y cube plus 3 by 2 into y raised to 4 minus 2y raised to 5 upon 5. Limits are from 0 to 1. Now we will put upper limit and lower limit and we will evaluate the respective values. So it is 1 by 3 into 4 minus 4 plus 3 by 2 into minus 2 upon 5 and value at lower limit that is at y equal to 0 it is 0. If we simplify this expression further this 4 4 will get cancelled and we left with 1 by 3 into 3 by 2 minus 2 by 5. So take the LCM of the denominator so that will give us 1 by 3 into 15 minus 4 upon 10. And simplifying it, we will get the final value of the integral as 11 upon 30. So in this way, we can obtain the value of the given double integral. I hope you have understood this. Thanks for watching this video.